Ranch. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. This is a sad day for the Poughkeepsie City School District. We had an incident uh, today that we are very sorry that took place. Our students at our high school, middle school, and elementary school are usually pretty safe when they enter our buildings as well as staff members. We sometimes do have some fights and some disruptions among students, but generally speaking, um, we have pretty good order across the district. Uh, today, we had a staff member, and, and since there are no secrets at this point, the media has names of people, and most of the information has been shared one way or another, so I'm, I'm gonna be as, as open and candid as I can be. Um, Ms. Ricketts, who is a English department teacher, came to my building this morning and was looking for a personnel action sheet. We had a board meeting last night and somehow Ms. Ricketts was of the impression that she was being terminated. We don't know how that information would have gotten to her. No adverse discussions have been held with her. No incidents have taken place. She left my building um, and went to the high school, and um, I received information that there had been a stabbing at the high school where Ms. Ricketts had a stab disclosure and another English department teacher. These two both, these two teachers are both in the English department. Later on in the morning, I had a chance to see
see the incident. We have cameras throughout the high school building, and the incident occurred about uh, three minutes after 10. And several members of the board and I and members of our staff had a chance to look at this incident, and we could see the incident starting, and you could see staff members helping to remove later found as a part of our investigation that uh, several teachers, uh, an assistant principal, and a student had been helpful in trying to separate uh, Ms. Ricketts from disclosure. We learned that approximately 16 screwdriver stab wounds had been inflicted. Ms. Glosier was taken to St. Francis Hospital. Uh, Ms. Ricketts was arrested and she's been detained. Uh, the district will be taking uh, disciplinary actions uh, soon. We, we need to uh, meet with her and to take uh, the type of actions that we think would be appropriate. Uh, during the day, uh, Mr. Glasscott one of our counselors and other administrative staff at the high school were constantly giving an update to the students and staff at the high school about what was going on. Uh, we discussed there had been some suggestions that we should close the school. I made a decision that we would not close school. We don't normally close school. Once young people are in our buildings, we and to keep them in our buildings. Uh, approximately maybe 50% of the students may have left during the day on their own or their parents signed them out. Uh, during the day, uh, various activities were planned. At 3 p.m. there was a, an emergency faculty meeting where Mr. Glasscott as the principal addressed the staff thank them for all of their support and help because many of the staff members at the high school stepped in and went to classes and tried to um, talk to teachers, provided support. Uh, Dr. Pample, our assistant superintendent for people personnel services was at the high school, <coughs> brought in a number of psychologists social workers, counselors to provide assistance to any staff member or student who wanted to receive counseling. Mr. Carrion, our assistant superintendent for instruction, went to the hospital, as did several other staff members at the high school. Uh, Dr. Muhammad, our assistant superintendent for human resources, began her investigation. And we had uh, Mr. Sheldon, our business assistant superintendent, also at the high school, providing some support and help. Uh, we had several police officers there, and our security staff. His parents came in to sign out their young people. Uh, that took place. Uh, the district prepared a number of documents. Uh, several media people came to the high school and I had conversations with them. Uh, Mr. Glasscott and I walked several of the halls to check on classrooms and to uh, determine whether or not the school was moving along uh, best it could uh, move under these circumstances. Tomorrow there will be a two hour delay at the high school for students. Staff will come at their regular time and the staff will be planning uh, lessons and activities for discussions with the student body. Uh, this large document that I have in front of me is the district-wide school safety plan. Uh, each school has an individual plan we used a lockout procedure where everybody who was in a classroom had to remain in the classroom where they were until Mr. Glasscott uh, 
gave an all clear for students to start to move to other classes. We had a truncated schedule. Uh, there was no tenth period. And most of the after school activities were canceled today. <coughs> Let me say that I'm very proud of the way that the high school principal, assistant principal, staff members conducted themselves under very trying conditions. It is an unusual situation that happened today. Again, most of our school days are calm days. Uh, to have one staff member uh, attack another staff member is out of the ordinary. I want to say to parents who are here and to the students who are here, our schools are safe most of the time. Uh, similar to events that occur and have occurred on college campuses, in churches, in supermarkets, in neighborhoods, sometimes there are some incidents that are traumatic and can be dangerous. Once in a while we'll find in, in a school building, unfortunately today, uh, one of our staff members attacked another staff. As a part of our investigation, we will try to get to the bottom of what caused this so that we can be mindful of any signals or signs that would give some indication that there may be some type of interpersonal problem that we can uh, be aware of that could trigger incidents of this type in the future. Uh, you have Everybody, but we ran off about 70 or so copies of a December 15th statement that says uh, December 15th incident at the Gipsy High School. I had an emergency meeting this afternoon at about 4.30 with all of our principals and assistant principals and some of our directors. This statement will be run off by each principal and disseminated tomorrow for each of our elementary schools. There will be a statement that will be developed tomorrow for all of our high school students to take home. Uh, Mr. Glasscock will disseminate that. We have placed statements on our website, and we use our school messenger information system to provide some information to our parents. There was also a sheet that provided uh, some of the information that we discussed at the emergency faculty meeting that's been disseminated in the audience. Those are, in general, the overall uh, events that took place today. Again, uh, Disclosure is being treated at St. Francis Hospital. She's going to be kept overnight. We don't know if there will just be overnight uh, treatment. We wish her a speedy recovery. Madam President, um, I will now turn this back over to you. Thank you. At this time, I will open it up for Board of Education comments.